What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, or the kick said just like that. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So, it's been a minute since I've done the Karen video. I just got finished doing that live stream for all my people that's trying to get in on the um, fitness workout plan thing that we're trying to do. Y'all go check out that video and the one I did yesterday. Um, but today was the day we started. Today is the day we started. So, if you haven't got started yet, go ahead and pause this video and go do what you know you need to be doing. And then you can come back and watch this later. But anyway, we're about to get into this video, y'all. This is a top 50 most viewed public freakout fails of all time, part two. But yeah, Karen freakout. Um, this is probably going to be some Kevins in here too. You know, the male Karens. I got a few of these left on the website for my um, big people like me. This is a 3X. You know, I do I do 3X. Um, I got some, excuse me, 3X and 4X left on the website. Um, I might do one more run in January. But that's going to be the very, very, very last run of the Karen t-shirts. I need y'all to comment down below if y'all want me to bring them back. If not, this is the very last run. But yeah, that's just what it is. Anyway, we're about to get into this video. Are boys girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go! You ever poop so much it looks like the Paramount Studio logo? We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Smash that sub button if you haven't already. Yeah, shout out to them. Um... I'm gonna have the link to their channel down in the description box below. My damn dollars he's stealing from me. I got somebody who just posted a review on Yelp that says because you are in here, they're going somewhere else. <laughs> Crap. Don't be costing me friggin' money. I will tear it out of your ass. Tear it out of my ass. Okay, don't you, know, you need to get him out of here. He's gonna end up going to jail. He, he's that's fine. That's fine. I'll go to jail. Okay, don't, don't. I know how to work in jail. Okay, don't. You know what he sounds like? He sounds like a, a, a angry nerd or something. <laughs> ah, or, uh, or or like a square. You know what I'm saying? He sounds like an angry square. I'm not saying that being a square is a bad thing. He just sounds like an angry square. <laughs> What's happening here? She look like a security guard somewhere. She has no respect for me. I feel like I'm begging her something. Um, seriously, can you get out of the Um, all right. That's how you talk to people. I mean, there's a counter right there too. Can can he can can can't he use that space right there? Can he use it? Tell you what, can I have my money back, please? He can't. I'm not getting the service I need. Can I have my money back, please? You sure can. Thank you. Uh huh. I'm not coming here to beg nothing. I'm paying for my. And I'm asking you to give me better damn change than this rusty ass money. Hey, that comes you from know? the bank. You know? Oh, well, yeah, take it back to the bank. Don't I do not want it. Okay. If you got bad money here, don't take it to me. Take it to the bank. You'll get your money. They'll give you nice, clean ones. <sighs> What's the issue here? Is this dude upset that this woman gave him a... a a rusty dime or something is, is this is what we being upset about right now y'all bro I, I found a dime on the on, on the floor hey, you want it you can have it I get to you you can have it now look but I'm a customer and I'm asking you for proper change it ain't that serious bro. And you act like I'm begging things I got work to go no, give me two. No. Give me, give, no. give me what I gave no. you. No, you taking. No, you giving time. me the same damn change that I did not ask you. I didn't get. Turn it off. Are you serious? All right, turn it off. I'm not no, I'm protecting myself in here. I'm no, I'm. I, I need the change. I, I need the money I gave her. Turn it off. I'm not gonna give it to you. What you gave No, I'm not turning it off because I'm protecting myself. Why well, can't turn it? Why well, gotta turn it off? So you can't say something that I did not say. <laughs> Please. Let me have my money. Your money's right there. That's not what I gave you. You're giving me money that I. One dollar and fifty eight cents is what you pay. And that's the and that's what I'm I'm telling you to change this dirty money. Dirty. And and you don't want to change my. What are you talking about? Look at here, man. Yeah. I gave you two one dollar bills. Can I have my two one dollar bills? One fifty eight right there is your money. You got a refund of your check of your money is a dollar and fifty eight cents. There you go. No. Have a good day. I didn't I didn't even take the damn money up. What what's here? I would, uh, if if the case of the matter is that he gave her a dollar bill and she gave him 
coins back in return. I'm not going to lie. I would be kind of upset about that too. Not kind of. I would be upset about that. If I don't want your service anymore, I expect you to give me back exactly what I gave you. If I gave you a dollar and 58 cents, I need the 58 cents in coins and I need an actual dollar bill. Don't play with me. But I don't know if that's the case here. I'm just saying. Because he, cause he might be the Karen right now. Y'all joking, man. I didn't take the change up from here. All right? What are you I left the money about? down there. So I'm going right to put down there. Right here is your dollar and 58 cents you paid for I gave you $2 and I didn't pick up the change. The change been sitting here. Like I was recording the damn thing. I didn't pick up no change. What are you talking about? I recorded everything. I don't care what you're recording. What are you talking about? All right. Keep my money. Keep my money. I'm going to call you in. That was so confusing. That didn't make no sense at all. I've dealt with people like that before. I've worked many um, customer service type jobs where you got to exchange currency with people. I'm glad I don't got to do that mess no more. That job was stressful. Hey, but whatever you do, don't take that energy back home with you. Yeah. Yeah, don't say nothing else. Don't say nothing else. You say they didn't hang so low. Oh my God, God, you doing 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 show up for the camera. Her. Look at her body. Show it out. Show out. Oh, I show out, baby. Show out. Look at her body. Look at your body. Black don't crack. Black don't crack. Black don't crack, baby. Crack is black. <laughs> what sense did that make, man? What sense did that make? She said... <laughs> ah! Nothing about that video made any sense at all. I don't know why these people were upset. <laughs> and then that dude was like, Black don't crack. He's talking about skin. He, he say black people age very well. That's what that term means. And then she said, crack is black. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard nobody respond with that. Oh my God. That's a that's a meme right there. That's one of those things where, oh uh, man, if I ever hear anybody say crack, black don't crack ever again, I'm going to be like, yo, crack is black. Alright, look, you got everything out of there, right? Can I have my purse? Give me my purse. Give me my purse. Real star. Why are you Give tripping, me girl? My purse. We're leaving. Give me my purse. Why is she tripping? Give me my purse. Give me my phone. Why he got her purse? Give me my phone. I mean, I'd be mad too. Give me my wallet. World star. Why she? Why he had her purse? Was she stealing something? That better be the only reason why he was taking her purse. Is because she was stealing something. <sighs> I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say because it might enable people. You know that you're on the wrong side. Get out of my car. You're on the wrong side of the road. Okay, you're being filmed. Do you know that you're on the wrong? You're on the wrong side of the road. You're on the wrong side of the road. This is not Europe. You drive on the right side. Get out of my face, please. Get, the cops are coming. Great, get out of my face. You're on the wrong side of the road. Do you get. know that you're on the wrong side of the road? Is it a know that you're parking on the lot? The please back away from Why my car. Why are you on this side of the road? Can you please back away from my car? Why are you on this side of the road? Cause maybe he was about to park. I was backing up. You're gonna get a ticket. Okay, I, on the wrong great. I was backing out of this space. You're on the wrong side of the road. Or backing up. How do you want? You're on the wrong side of the road. Oh, listen, woman, listen. You don't learn anything by running your mouth. If you want to know why he's on the wrong side of the road, you have to shut up and listen. Listen. Ah, oh, people kill me doing that. I oh, I hate when people do that. They ask you a question and they won't let you answer because they're so caught up in their emotions. They don't have control over themselves. It's like, I just want to be like, take you by the face and uh, just push you out my way and then close my door and just drive. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay. You cannot drive on this side of the road. 
Okay. Why, why are you don't, laughing? Don't touch my my. Why are you laughing? Lock your door, fool! Please. Dang. Did you? Oh my god. She didn't even give himself. She didn't even give the dude time to correct himself. He pulled out of the parking spot. He's right here. All he has to do is just drive and go. How come when I asked for the sauces, you just didn't make sure I got them? Because the manager gave her your feet now. Okay. I know, but you were right behind her, and you could. Well, you know. I mean, don't be rude. God, why are you being rude and have an attitude? I just asked for sauce. Are you okay with her talking to customers like that and being rude to me for no reason at all? Oh, sorry, man. This is for the, the um, sauce. This is 25 cents for each. I'm sorry, you're telling me that your sauces that you give away for free inside when you come in and eat? Uh, you put your sauce in the, in the bag? There's no sauce I looked. I looked in the bag. Okay. Here, do you want to look? Here, look in the bag. Look in the bag. There's no sauce. So she, you just put the sauce in there. You're telling me that they're 25 cents each yeah. for sauce to go with my chicken nuggets. This is on recording. It will be sent to McDonald's. Okay. They're 25 cents each. Okay, ma'am. You don't have chicken nuggets, okay? You yes, know, I have three Happy Meals of chicken nuggets. You're telling me I'm not allowed to have hot mustard? I need the hot mustard and napkins. Yeah, put in there. Okay. Why, why, what is your name? What is your name? Lorena. And you're a manager here. And you're telling me that I'm not allowed to have the hot sauce. We've, we've seen uh, Karen videos like this before on this channel where <laughs> they pull up to a drive through somewhere and the people don't want to give them sauce and they're trying to charge them for sauce or trying to charge them for extra sauce. We've seen this. Not this video in particular, but we've seen incidents like this. And they always end just like this, where it's a female pass or female driver, and she's getting irate and upset over the people for not giving her more sauce or the sauce that she asked for in the first place. And I understand. I understand that. I, I couldn't agree more. And I think that's ridiculous that they'll even charge you for the sauce. Like, like it, I don't know, man. Wherever I go, they always ask me for sauce. I'm not a condiment person, so I always turn down the sauce. Or if I'm with friends, they will be like, hey, I'll get this sauce. I'll take your sauce. I'm not a sauce person, so I don't get upset about it like that. The only sauce I like is like Wendy's freaking um, sweet and sour sauce. That's the only sauce that I like. And I get my sauce. You know what I'm saying? They give me two sauces. I'm like, hey, yay, I, that's all I need. I'm good. But I don't know. You did now after I made you held, held you accountable for the way that you were acting, <laughs> right? I had to tell you I was recording you, and I had to I had to make a point in order to get the sauce. Why? Right. I will be sending this to corporate. That is totally unacceptable and not okay. And to let her treat people the way that she just did for no reason—that's not okay. I'm a paying customer. I keep you guys in business. Tell them, girl. It seems like these aren't so much Karen videos as much as they're like really public freakout videos. I didn't understand. I I saw it, but I didn't understand. It was like there's a manatee or something swimming in the water, and people wanted to swim with it and take pictures and record it and all this type of stuff. But yet she's upset for some reason. Okay, I bet there was. I bet the people that were filming it had more to do with upsetting her than we saw a lot of times that's the case we don't get to see everything though al do you need something can we help you what is this cat doing 
Do you have any business standing here? Just so you know. What is he doing, y'all? Al, please leave my garage. Al. Being nosy. He's over there like... He's really just being a prick, y'all. Because he's not really that interested or in whatever's happening in this garage. He's really just being a prick. Because his mind, I promise you, his mind is not on what's happening in the garage as much as it is irritating this guy that's recording him. I promise y'all that's the case. I promise y'all. I promise y'all, man. Al, please step away. Go back to your car that's running in the street. I don't know what you're... I want to leave his stuff alone. One thing, what I'm, <laughs> um, I think one thing that might be his issue is the fact that maybe because they're in this garage making all this noise, he probably came down trying to figure out like, man, what in the world could they possibly do it, be doing out here to be making all this noise? He's seen it already. I'm telling y'all, he's really looking just to irritate this dude more. Dude, it's the middle of the day. Let these people do what they do. It's not their fault that you're at home. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. <laughs> Maybe that guy's just weird. <laughs> yeah, you got to give me your car to drive to go wherever you're going. You, you're not walking distance. What is this guy doing? This is a public freak out. This dude's just a public freak out. You stepped in my garage, Al. <laughs> Is there something you'd like to share with myself and Bryce? Or are you just gonna take some notes? This dude also might be giving off on this. Like, he needs some type of entertainment or excitement in his life. He might be just that bored to where he needs to stir up some type of drama. People do that, y'all. You got to be careful. You got to uh, pay attention to people's motives when they're doing strange and unusual things or if they're acting in a certain type of manner. It might be because they're looking for some type of drama or excitement in their life. I'm not saying that this is the case for this, but I'm just saying it's an option. It's something that could be happening. What the freak was that? I ain't want to hear that. I guess that's the end of the video. Y'all know what time it is. If you like this reaction, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the video is going to be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at our kicks. To the next one.